Good evening guys, this is Sumail. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today in this video, we'll be learning about how to make a backlit onyx in Dialogs Evo. Onyx is basically a marble. It has a translucent property because of which light can pass through it. And because of this unique property of the onyx marble, it is, it is very much used in the interior spaces, be it a bar counter or an ascent wall you can see onyx being widely used so let's try to make a onyx backlit in dialogues evo let's get started here i have considered a sample project of a living room and uh, we are going to make a onyx backlit wall somewhere here okay so for that one we are going to first place a column go to room elements select rectangular column and draw rectangular room element place the first point extend it and if you extend you can see the length of it okay so i am going to make it of one meter length and then extend it and now you can see the width so let me make it as 0.2 meters 0.2 meters you can manually adjust the dimensions over here 0.2 meters and one meter width okay so this is your column that's nice we are going to slightly move it here okay that's done so uh here's a question have you seen a uh, installation of onyx marble okay if you haven't come across onyx backlit effect installation basically bit in a wall or a dummy column so for backlit um, they are going to make a space wherein you can place your led strip light okay and then on that there will be a marble onyx marble okay so we are going to make something similar here in the dialogues evo we have placed a column here and i need a cutout okay for that cutout i'm going to select the cutout draw a rectangular cutout and i'm going to draw the cutout okay so this is it again adjust the dimensions or to get it more clear you can go to the side views and adjust it okay now my column is hollow if you want your onyx marble to be visible from both the sides you can make it hollow if you want it to be visible only on one side say that you can see the onyx backlit effect only from here then let this be closed okay so for now first thing let us try with with only one side so i'm going to give a uh, cutting depth here i'm going to close it for 0.18 meters okay done now i need a is file for led strip you can use any led strips let's go to loom search and search for one led strip you can directly try strip light and here you have options for LED strip select the voltages and the length of the strip accordingly this one is 0 0.71 watts and it's of only 0.55 inches okay so go to open link so let's select this one send to dialogs open dialogs dispatcher and here you have the is seems fine so we'll draw a line arrangement so we'll go to the side views and then draw it this is a column draw a line arrangement from here to here okay let's go to the side views and place it properly properly placed okay now you can adjust the number of luminous here like you can go to 
arrangements and here if you click luminar distance between two is 0 0.05 you can change it to 0.1 so the number of luminaires in that will get reduced based upon the distance you are defining here I think this is fine I'll just copy to the other side as well control C control V bring it on other side perfect done okay we are going to save this this was about our backlit strip light for the backlit now we are going to place our onyx marble for that we are going to our furniture and objects select a cube place object and scale it accordingly I'll make it of 0 0.02 meters thickness height is 3 meters let us go and check perfect it is closed save it now you need to put uh, onyx marble texture here for that let's go and search for some onyx marble texture so you can easily get so many different textures you can download good go to materials and create your texture import it now this is a very important part watch this carefully once your material is imported go to transparent reflection factor give it only 2% or less than 2 then degree of transmission keep it 30 to 40 um, let's keep it 40 for now let's see the effect okay now you see this this is change and now replace the material you can scale it properly done okay now let's save again let's run the calculation calculation is completed let's go to export save new view go to the ray tracer increase the resolution for now let's keep it only for full HD and then start ray tracing it and this is the effect we have got a perfect onyx backlit in dialogues evo this is amazing isn't it nice now let's um, observe here one thing if you do calculation only the calculation part your result should be something like this and uh, when you ray trace it then only you are going to see the exact effect of onyx backlit that's nice let's make it one more let's let me make a copy of this one okay we have made a copy of this one and uh, let's select some other texture uh, let's let me select this blue onyx texture go to the properties transparent make it 2 and this will be 40 and apply material scale it save calculation objects calculation objects run the calculation calculation is completed let's go to uh, view reset the view go to the ray tracer let's make it highest resolution for now and start ray tracing 
done calculation and render is completed and you can see the effect it's amazing perfect the yellow onyx marble and the blue onyx marble looks really good so this is it guys this is how you can make a onyx backlit effect in the dialogues evo please note that this is not included in your dialogues evo calculations this is only for your decorative stuff right so if you guys found this video helpful please hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more and dialogues with me thank you